in the population because they're really bad at the moment. We have a brand new camera. We're going to try it for the first time, so hopefully there's going to be a lot better footage on the videos here on in. Fingers crossed. It's really cool. It's right on the border of the private here. Hell, the wind was really bad. I wasn't expecting to see them, so the wind eventually got into them. They took off, but there's pigs over there too. Everything's over in the private, but I've got a camera up here. So hopefully we caught them on camera. That was really cool. That's a big mob of goats. It's the first big mob I've seen in here. I saw those two little piglets come up after filming those goats. My backpack was down there, my gun was up there in the camera. And I got the backpack. 
back and then saw the pink ones. Didn't have the gun on the camera. Managed to get to the gun. Filmed the pink ones. Just managed to set up here. And that other thing came following up, so... That pink's done, but I think we'll wait. Just see if anything else comes up. It might. That's one down. One down. Goats and pigs. Just got to find deer now. Central West Trifecta. Looks like it may have been, that may have been the mother of the two piglets, so it's a bit of a shame those piglets are going to be running around by themselves, but any pig out of the forest at the moment is good, there's so many of them. There's the shot there, right behind the shoulder, so pretty happy with that, she was done pretty quick. One down, hopefully set one to go. Off to camp. Well, tent's all squared away for the night. We backpacked in, so everything fits into this little 45 litre uh, backpack, which is really good. I, I travel pretty light. Super lightweight tent, it's not raining tonight, so uh, I don't know how this tent would go in the rain, but just to keep the dew off. Blow up air mattress, which is like a super light uh, X bed. One luxury I do have is I do take a blow up pillow. Uh, I find that just gives a much nicer night's sleep. Super light hike stove, uh, and tonight is burritos and guacamole. We should be doing, I'm gonna go set a camera up over that way. Go and sit over there for the night. So let's see what happens. Hopefully, we'll get another pig. Okay, it's about three o'clock. We've come to set up here for the evening. Got ourselves in position nice and early, like. An hour and a half, two and a half hours before before dark. So we're just going to sit here for the rest of the night. Just be quiet. The wind's in our favour. Hopefully, something pops up. We'll see what happens. Feeding in the tussocks. Other than that, nothing. About 27, sunset about two or three minutes ago, so we've got about 27 minutes left. I'll stick it out as long as possible. Maybe something will show up again. It's still hope, always hope. It's a bit different than yesterday morning. Uh, it started raining last night. The tent is waterproof, so I found out, which is good. Uh, so we're just coming and set out here. We're sitting under a tree. Whereas we didn't bring any wet weather gear because we didn't think it was going to rain. So it's a bit stupid. I'm just going to sit here in this gully, try and stay dry and see if anything comes up. Still morning, really good. The wind's good. So. We just wait and see, right?
Well, there you go, Murphy's Law. We did spot another pig. That was a nice ball. It came up from over the other side of that little ridge and followed right up in line with that only bush that's covering my view. And popped out here, hadn't made a sound until he popped out right here. And then I was having a cup of tea, cocked a bit of coffee, cocked a bit of movement, took off, so never had a chance, but at least we saw something. And if we can get a shot, still drizzling. It was about here that I had noticed there was a really good billy still up uh, the top of the gully and he looked like he had a really big set of uh, horns on him so I started making my way back up the hill to try and get a, a clearer shot of him, close the gap and of course the goats decided to make their way down the hill and feed on the lower section of the hill here. Um, I got caught out here and I couldn't move so I set up the camera, had a half decent rest against the tree. I was hoping the billy was going to stand up on top of this mound where these kids are running up on the moment. I probably would have got a really good shot there, but of course, as he comes into view now, he just ploughs straight through and I never got a shot. They ended up catching my wind and they all started making their way back up, so I repositioned myself further up the hill, but I couldn't take the camera gear with me. And between the three cameras, I couldn't get the billy on film. sit in front of you like that. It's really hard to pass up, so we took a nice billy. I'm looking for a nice set of horns and meat, so but he won't go astray where he loves it. There's still a few up there, so I'm going to slowly creep my way up. Find him. Maybe even take another one. It's a long back out, though. We'll see what happens. It's a good Sunday. Oh yeah, that was the one. They're still up over there feeding. Oh, he's a big boy. He's a big boy. Oh, wow. That's a big. He's big. I didn't think he was that big. Oh, wow. I did not think he was going to be as big as that. He is an absolute tank. Oh. State forest hunting at its finest. This is a different group of goats, I think. I didn't see this guy yesterday, but I'm still looking for pigs when they step out in front of you like that. He's got a good set on him too. There's going to be some nice back straps on this one. Pigs yesterday, good goats today, and deer walking through camp last night after dark. State forest hunting doesn't get any better, guys and girls. Ah, oh, this is a good Sunday. I'm gonna get into him, take the back straps, take the head off. See you next time. for days.